Ontario Regional Chief Isidore Day sat down with Net News Ledger to talk about the provincial election. Hey, it's James Murray from Net News Ledger. We're in Thunder Bay. We're talking to Ontario Regional Chief Isidore Day. Thank you for taking the time, Chief. My pleasure, James. Now, we're in the middle of a provincial election. The party leaders are out delivering platforms. The candidates are out pounding signs. What do Ontario First Nation voters need to know? What's the message you need to hear of them here? Well, you know, just like in, uh, in previous elections, uh, namely the, uh, the most recent federal election, uh, there was a, a great movement uh, among our people to go to the ballot box. Uh, I recognize uh, that, that many people in uh, the Kenora area, uh, the, the northern area, the Th Thunder Bay area, uh, all of our communities right across the Ontario region uh, were involved in the federal election to a, a much greater degree. Uh, it was the, the Rock to Vote campaign. Uh, I think you're seeing that again. Uh, with the provincial election, you will see our people turn out in droves at the ballot box to ensure uh, that they have a say about uh, who is going to represent them as a constituent uh, within the, the uh, Queen's Park context. Um, the other thing that we're, we're obviously seeing is um, there's some significant uh, uh, participation as, as we see new candidates from First Nations participate in this election. There's uh, Chief Clifford Bull from Lac Sewell is running in uh, the new riding. He is, and uh, Saul Mamakwa is, is actually uh, one of his uh, competitors. Yes. Uh, so you got the NDP and you've got the... Uh, uh, the PC party and, and then you have Mary Lawrence from Sioux Lookout who is also running against those two individuals. Uh, it, it's really heating up to become a, a, a very important part of the uh, uh, the provincial jurisdiction uh, you know in, in terms of uh, you know representation of uh, those those constituents and you know rightfully so uh, First Nations should be and it's been stated for quite some time they need to be part of the the provincial uh, a legislative process now but at the core of everything Ontario is all on treaty land exactly and uh, you know we can uh, talk about programs and services we can see you know governments come in and make investments but at the end of the day for the most part what we've seen is a control of those investments and you know a, a fettered participation if you will uh, we're we're not we're not seen as as the decision makers and the authorities at the table out in the open with Ontarians. Uh, what Ontarians uh, see and what they hear is is based on a, a very filtered and a very scripted uh, uh, way in which uh, governments have worked with us in the past. Whether it's the f uh, former PC government, which created a real big mess, and this most recent Liberal government, who who pretty much controlled the agenda. Uh, despite reconciliation and, and much of what's happened, uh, what we haven't seen is, you know, the recognition of First Nation jurisdiction and authority. Uh, it's going to boil down to some pretty important things like land. Chief Day, thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. Thank you.